Hello. Today we are going to be painting a six inch rock. This is a plaster rock that I got from the Rock Shop Co. on Etsy. And I am going to be testing out these blish drops, which are very similar to Nuvo drops, which you guys know I am obsessed with. Um, these are handmade by another dot artist. You guys might be familiar with Tara. Her business name is Deserted Bliss. Um, I will be sure to link all of her information in the description of the video for you guys. But she has created her own paint, which I absolutely love. I am super excited to support a, a small business. Um, it's been super fun watching her journey. She's been posting a lot about the process on her Instagram account. So if you guys are interested, go give her a follow. But I'm going to be testing these out today. And this is the color Snowbird and Monsoon. And as you guys can see, they have a little bit of a color shift. Really beautiful colors, and I think these will go perfect with this palette. So I'm very excited to try these out. So I'm going to do some swooshes using this Snowbird Bliss Drop color. And I'm going to... So I'm doing a larger dot and then I'm just taking a smaller dotting tool and dragging that paint down. Again, if you don't have um, bliss drops, you could use Nuvo drops or you can just use regular paint so you could use the light blue. but I really just want to test out these bliss drops and also just add some texture and dimension. Those created such nice plump swooshes. I'm gonna try to show you very carefully the dimension on those. Those are super beautiful. Okay, so we are just going to add some final touches. So, this is, these are kind of dry, so we can kind of see about what the colors look like. So the thing that I'm trying to figure out is I wanted to do a super large dot using this snowbird color in the center, but my deco art paint, um, you can see was a little bit thick, so it dried with a mound. So I don't think we'll be able to get a good big plump center dot using this. So I might actually just pour some of this into my palette and use a dotting rod to do a top dot over that large center dot. So I am going to grab, let's see. This is going to be tricky just because there is a big lump there. So this is a size nine dotting rod. And this is also really thick, so I'm just not sure that it will work for that center dot, but we are going to give it a try. If it doesn't work, then we can just wipe it off. It works okay. So 
So I'm just adding more and I'm just kind of working it out a little bit, making it a little bigger. Honestly, not bad. Um, just got a little bit uneven right over here, so I'm just going to wipe that up a bit. Hmm. Let me just see if I can spread this out. Okay, so that worked for the center still nice and plump and then I'm going to take this monsoon color and do some nice plump dots on top of that dark purple I'm going to take the snowbird color again. And I'm going to top dot on top of those purple dots that we did. And those will give us some nice textured finishes. Okay, we are almost done. I just want to do one last thing, which is top brush strokes. So I am going to take this monsoon and put some into my paint palette. And I'm going to take that same brush that we were using, the two over zero. And I'm going to dip my brush and I'm going to do top brush strokes right over the dark boy ones that we have on here. So just going right through the center because we don't want to cover the blue brush strokes. We just want to add a little metallic accent. So pretty. Okay, and then just one last little thing. I'm going to use the snowbird to make some little micro dots in between 
each dot from that last row. Here is the final piece. The bliss drop stayed nice and plump and added so much texture and dimension. I really love these. They are very comparable to Nouveau drops. So if you would like to support a small business and fellow artists, make sure you check out bliss drops at Deserted Bliss.